So, it looks like the more and more I hear about Disney+, Plus, the more and more I'm like, frick, I'm gonna have to go get, you know, I'm gonna have to go get this even though I have no money as it is. So, yeah. And this is another example of that. And today, Universe, it was announced that they are going to be doing a Disney villain-centric show. That's right, Disney Plus is doing a Disney-centric uh, uh, show that is going to be called Books of Enchantment. It is going to focus... Uh, they haven't really announced much. All they said is one the head writer for Once Upon a Time and the uh, creator of, Quantic, of the show Quantico are going to be behind the project. It is not going to be tied to um, Once Upon a Time, although I imagine it's going to have some similar themes to it. But it is supposed to be a villain-centric show that's going to focus on the Disney villains, and that's all I know. That's all we know. We also have that it's going to be scheduled uh, for production in 2020, and we'll be shoot start shooting in Ireland. That is literally all I know. So a Disney villain show, yeah. As you guys know, Disney uh, Disney houses some of the best villains in animation. When you think animated villains, you usually your mind wanders to Disney. Although, I have to be real with you guys, I think Disney's starting to, sw uh, starting to well, lack in that department. Because, as of late, we really haven't had a movie, a big movie villain. We've never really, we haven't had another Jafar, or we haven't had another Maleficent. The last time we had a credible Disney villain was Mother Gothel from Tangled. We haven't really had a Disney, well, we did have Yokai, um, but he got... Uh, so we still we had him, but really, when we that, when we really had a the last Disney villain was technically Mother Gothel. It's let's be real, the last full on Disney villain we had was Mother Gothel. And I know what you're thinking, but what about like uh from the dude from Frozen or from Te or from Wreck It Ralph? I'm like those are like twist villains that are so like I hate Dis the whole Disney twist villain thing. By the way, I totally freaking hate it because it just comes out of nowhere. Um, and just feels like why at the end of the day. It just feels like a why moment. Anyway, so... What was I going to say? Uh, yeah, so this might be cool. You know, Disney really likes to bank on their, di on their villains first and foremost because we know how we'll like them. Now, obviously, I would have preferred a 2D show. I would have really preferred a full-on animated Disney villain show. But that's not the case. It is obviously going to be live action. Now, first and uh, now, yeah, I, let's just get over the fact that it's going to be live action. But they did say it like I'm hoping for like a Game of Thrones kind of thing of all these villains together. I'm really hoping for like this is Disney's Game of Thrones, but with all of their villains um, like either working together or trying to stab each other in the back or maybe something along those lines. But uh, here's the thing, Disney. And I really want you to get this through your skull about uh, before you do this show. <clears throat> Are you listening? Don't make them heroes! Yeah. I don't want a hero century. I don't want, you know, like the Maleficent movie, um, where it's like, oh, she was really good the whole time. No, I want these guys to be flat-out villains. I want a flat-out villain-centric show. That is the, you know, that is the number one thing I want from this. I want Maleficent to be evil. I want, you know, uh, the evil queen to be evil like in her friggin' namesake. I would like to see, if we use Shere Khan, um, him be evil or Scar. Although I have a feeling they'll be human for some reason. I have got a pretty good feeling. And it does, like, yeah, I want Jafar, all of them to be evil. I don't want them to be like, I, w I wouldn't mind if you changed the backstory a bit and made them a little more tragic. I would be fine with that, but keep them as the villains. You know, keep, I hope, you know, you keep them as the villains. I wouldn't mind if you change some of them to think they're the heroes of their own story. I don't mind that, but don't make them like, oh, we were really good the whole time. Don't, don't do that. I also don't want them to have every one of them have a, a tragic backstory. Yeah, don't... That's, that's the one thing I'm worried about with Books of Enchantment, is that you're doing a Disney villain show... And I'm worried if you're going to forget, if you're going to at any point forget that this is going to be a villain show. That's what I'm really concerned about, is that, are you, you know, are you going to remember, Disney, that this is a show about villains and not, like, anti-heroes? Yeah. That's my big thing. That is my, you know, big, major point. 
you know, I can't really see Chernobog as a good guy. Just saying, so... Yeah, I wouldn't mind if some of them had some of their backstory changed to be a little more tragic and see why they became villains, but keep them at the end of the day villains, because there's so much you can do with, the, you know, a show centered on bad guys. You can really do some really cool things, like, uh, you could totally have, uh, you know, some Game of Thrones stuff going on with all of the villains. You could totally have, like, you know, Jafar at war with Maleficent and the evil queen, or Hades plotting something um, with Chernobog. It's really like, it's no holds bar, and the list of villains you could have in this show are endless. Hell, I would even, wouldn't even mind, even mind seeing uh, Oogie Boogie in here, or Shere Khan, or, um, well, probably, we probably won't get the two cats from Lady and the Tramp. That's a little too racist. <laughs> um, uh, so forget I said that. Uh, forget, uh, forget that one. Uh, but yeah, there's so many, like Mother Gothel. You could have Dr. Facilier, who I would really like to see. Mother, uh, almost said Mother Facilier. Dr. Facilier, the Shadow Man. Oh, that'd be so cool. Oh, he'd be great. Um, and actually, you know who, who you could get, to, since this is a live-action show, and who I think should really play him? I know, I know you're probably thinking Keith David, since he did voice him. Keith David is sadly a little too old for the role, but I think it'd be kind of cool if you got Orlando Bloom uh, to play um, to play Dr. Facilier in live action. Most of you guys know him best um, from, uh, from Sleepy Hollow. He also was in the movies Evolution, as well as uh, Primeval. He's been in a lot of films. Uh, he's also... What, uh, what else? Oh, yeah, most of you guys would probably know him now as uh, Anansi from uh, American Gods. So, totally Orlando Bloom as Dr. Facilier. There you go. <laughs> I just think he would capture that kind of, that character's charisma. Um, but anyway, so, yeah, that's my big thing, is don't make them heroes. I don't want, if I wanted to watch a show about Disney heroes, I'd go watch Once Upon a Time or something along those lines. I want to see... Cap you know, there's so many characters I'd like to see in here, like Cruella, um, Captain Hook, uh, like I said, Oogie Boogie would be interesting of how they'd pull that off, Shere Khan, the Hyenas, Scar, obviously Maleficent, um, Maleficent's, Maleficent's probably gonna be a centerpiece of this story, um, also Madame Medusa would be cool from Rescuers, oh, you gotta, I would love to see them do McLeish in here, they wouldn't do it because no one remembers Rescuers Down Under, but I freaking love that movie, I would love to see McLeish in here. Um, uh, yeah, McLeish would be great. And if, sadly, um, he's sadly no longer with us, but Arlie Ermey would have been so cool as a live-action McLeish. Um, especially if you look at it, if you saw his Texas, uh, him in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre movies. Um, that, like, that is so, obviously, he was doing, like, that would, he would so rock it as McLeish. Um... Who else would be, would be cool to see in here? Of course, Mother Gothel, um, Jafar, another, probably be as another centerpiece, uh, Cruella de Vil, um, I think I said that already. Cherubog would probably be like a big, it would also be a big part, because it's the frickin' devil, of course he's gonna play a big part. I would also like to see, like, maybe incorporate, like, they'll, they'll never do this. They won't do this, but I wish, I wish they would. Um... I wish they would do this. I totally wish they would do this, but they won't. I would have loved to see them, like, do some Disney TV villains. Because that's where the villain uh, pedigree has kind of gone. Is that it's you don't see them a lot in movies anymore, in Disney animated movies anymore, but you certainly see them in the cartoons. So I would love, like, it'd be so great to see, like, to like um, live-action Toffee or Bill Cipher or Lord Dominator or even Magicka to show up. Um, at some point, that'd be really cool. Uh, it'll never happen. I'm f guys, I am fully friggin' aware that that won't happen. But hey, I can dream, right? <laughs> if they were looking for villains, you know, Disney animation has totally been kind of on the upkeep with the villains lately. So that would be my thing, if I had any say in this show. But sadly, I do not. So, uh, yeah, you guys tell us in the comments below. What do you guys think of a live a of a Disney villain show coming to Disney Plus? Do you guys like it? Do you guys hate it? What do you think the story will be? What kind of villains do you want? Yeah, especially what kind of villains would you like to see in this show? And as always, remember to Hulk smash that subscribe button, be a part of Earth's My subscribers. Also, I would like to bring up the fact 
that we, uh, um, if you haven't already, go check out our previ uh, um, a previous video on the channel that focuses on our giveaway for Detective Comics number 1000. Follow the, go check out that video, follow the rules for that, uh, you know, for the instructions of that video, and you could be in a chance to win a variant cover of Bat of Detective Comics number 1000, and also get the possibility to get a PX exclusive pop of The Batman Who Laughs from Dark Knight's Metal. So once again, just go check that out, and hope you all enjoyed this video, and we will see you right here once more in the universe.